So I'm not gonna be filming that much because I want to be in the moment and I want to enjoy my 17th birthday. Even though I don't think it's a huge thing that I'm celebrating, you only get you only get to turn 17 once in a year, or like you know you only you only have a birthday once in a year. I will take advantage of the fact that today is my day, <laughs> and probably a few other people in the world. Uh, actually probably a few dozen other people in the world um happy birthday if it is your birthday today as well <laughs> we're gonna tackle a 50 minute run that is usually like five miles for me because i run an average of a 10 minute per mile pace so we will get that done and i will meet you guys in the next clip I'm not complaining or anything because it's gonna be 70 degrees out here it's six it's about 59 right now but the wind is making it feel like 50. there is no sun out here and i brought these sunglasses because i thought that i would get to use them for the first time but i i think i'm just gonna wear them just because they look cool but obviously it's a very very cloudy so uh Okay guys, so right now I'm doing the talk test, which is basically figuring out to see if you're in zone one or not, which is where most of the work is done when it comes to running. If you wanna run fast, you have to run slow. So right now I'm running in zone one. And the way that you know if you're in zone one is if you can keep up a comfortable conversation with someone. So that's why I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> okay, I'll see you when I reach 20 minutes. 20 minutes, y'all. This is your daily reminder, if no one has told you this today yet, that easy runs are not embarrassing and they don't make you any less of a runner. If anyone wants to make fun of you for going at your own pace, then at least you have the peace of mind to know that while they're yapping, you're getting the work in. <laughs> Stay hard. <laughs> okay. So for the last 30 seconds to 20 seconds or so, I usually sprint it out on the final few seconds of my run to get the blood flowing. So that's in three, two, one. Okay guys, so I am done with my, my run. I expect a few running slash fitness videos coming for future uploads. I'm gonna be talking about my current split and the importance of crash training if you guys wanna hear that. And then we're gonna have a video about my running essentials. So stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in the next clip. Nice run. Hey guys, 
So we just got back from a strenuous day outside and driving and shopping. Not really strenuous in the way that it, it was <clears throat> terrible, but strenuous in the way that it was long, okay? We were out there for a while and I'm so glad to be back home. So the last time you guys saw me, I finished my 50 minute run and then afterwards we were kind of just driving around shopping and doing all of that. I did not record any of the stores we went to because I feel a little awkward filming in public. But I ended up getting a nice haul at a thrift store. But I also have to show you guys the process of making my gift for my teacher. So, let's start with, before I show you guys that, I just want to also mention that I did eat today, but once we got home, I hadn't eaten all day, and I was literally so ravenous, so... I ate off camera, okay? I had a one hour window to eat all my food because I don't want to wake up bloated tomorrow. Therefore, I could not pick up the camera and show you guys, unfortunately, but just know that it was bussing, okay? I had some sweets, I had some good wholesome foods, I had, you know, the whole full package. Now, let me show you guys what I got for my teacher. So I went to Dollar Tree and I got a few items that are essential for gifts. A little gift bag just to hold everything. I kind of wish it was a different color, but they only had two colors in the size. And I thought that this was good enough. <laughs> then we have some sparkling cider. This is almost shaped like a wine bottle, but it's not alcoholic and it's just some sparkling basically apple juice to put on the bottle i will use one of these bows because i want to be extra <laughs> and uh, these are these look super fancy then we have a card because i read this article that was talking about presents and gifts that teachers actually want okay a lot of teachers They'll get a present, they'll say, hey, thank you so very much, this is so appreciated, but really, it's like some hand sanitizer or some, like a mug that they can get from the teacher's lounge. <laughs> Which is, there's no, there's no, there's no problem with hand sanitizer or a mug, but I wanted to go the extra mile. So I got my teacher this card that I'm going to fill with some kind words. And I just think this is so cute. This tissue paper wasn't really on my to buy list, but I saw it in the store and I thought, oh my God, this is so perfect. I need this in my gift bag. Finally, and the most exciting item in this gift bag, I feel like personally, is Tuesdays with Maury, which is a book I got from Barnes & Nobles today, and I think this is so great because um, if you guys don't know what Tuesdays with Maury is about, I'm not going to give you the whole rundown because honestly, I can't even really remember. I read this book, but I can't really remember what the book was about per se, but I know it was about a guy and his relationship with his teacher, so I thought this has to go into my my gift because it is exactly the right message that I'm trying to send to my teacher. And now for assembling all the pieces.
as you can probably tell, I am kind of whipped. I finished the present, and I now want to show you guys what I got from the thrift store. Only four items, but they, I feel like, are going to be new staples. First off, we have this collared shirt. It's a button down and it's really basic, but I feel like my wardrobe could use a lot more basics. So I am investing in a very nice versatile button down. Button downs are usually shirts that I don't reach for, but I probably need more of. Next, we have a very high quality blazer. I really could try these on for you guys and <laughs> kind of do a little lookbook, but I it is literally 9 turning 10 p.m. and I am ready to edit this video and get it done. So I'll do that in another video, do a little lookbook of my new pieces and maybe, you know, matching it with some old pieces. But for right now, this is something that I don't have a light colored blazer. I don't know in what situation I would use this for because usually most interviews that, you know, I'd probably go to require at most business cash. And this is definitely not business cash, but <laughs> I thought it looked really cute and everyone needs at least one blazer in their wardrobe. Thirdly, we have this school merch half zip up. The school that's detailed on the right side, or maybe it's left side, of this zip up is not my school, so maybe I'm a little bit of a traitor. <laughs> See that how you will, but it's cute, so the colors match perfectly and usually the logos i don't really like when they have like different decals and stuff because i feel like it takes away from the rest of the piece but this kind of matches in and works well with the rest of it so that's this that's the third piece i got fourthly and lastly i got this nike tank now, I don't have any Nike tanks, and I thought maybe I should give this one a try. It fits literally like a glove. I need more colorful sportswear also in my wardrobe, so I thought that I picked that up. Definitely going back to Embrace or maybe even making it on the sewing machine, some new pieces for summer. Before now, these are the clothes that I got for my birthday. Okay, I might get a spring wardrobe and then a summer wardrobe and then a fall wardrobe. Like this is not the end of the, you know, thrifting haul era. So that is about it. Tomorrow I have class. So I have to get to bed a little earlier today, meaning that I am going to end the video right here. If you liked the video, like the video, comment down below if you want to see more vlogs or vlogging type content from this channel. Here are my socials on the screen. We have Pinterest. Goodreads and Wattpad. Pinterest, I post three times a week minimum. Goodreads, I will inform you guys of what book I am reading this week. So if you would like to know what book I am reading this week and or any books that I have read in the past, then head on over to Goodreads and check that out. Wattpad, I will be posting 
all the previews for short story stories or books that I am writing currently. And with all that being said, I hope you have an amazing, amazing, amazing day. Again, if it is your birthday today, happy birthday, celebrating another year of you. Even if it's not your birthday, you're still <laughs> amazing. <laughs> And I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>